other rear damaged guard, and this one's quite uh, worn out. So truckers should follow cars around and point out all their flaws. I guarantee there's more cars with issues than trucks with issues. Just saying. One quick. Oh, tries the lane switch. Whose fault? In this video, this guy actually asked whose fault that is. I can't believe it. What do you think? Whose fault is it? <laughs> Why do I park nose in at a truck stop first? And this is the main reason for me. Nosing in is very unpopular in the trucking community, but there's a couple good reasons why you would. To get away from other people's noise, and if you have a reaper, to keep your noise away from them. Just saying. The white SUV that starts all of this, he's that one guy. The one guy that you know, the one that just ruins everybody's day, that's him. Not to be such a parent, but isn't he teaching the goat it's okay to headbutt people? Isn't that going to be dangerous? Not my usual trucking videos, but this one kind of caught my eye. All I got to say is ouch, and holy moly, that's going to be expensive. Oh, holy. Holy. Holy lawyer's reaction. When he slams into that pickup truck, whose fault is it? Put it in the comment section. I say it's the big trucks. Tell me why I'm wrong. These cars, the drivers don't know that it's coming up so fast. You can see, uh, wow, uh, that motorcyclist uh, appearing to kind of stand up there on the motorcycle there for a second. Uh, but, oh my gosh. Ugh. All Detroit will do is sell you a new one. So if you grenade this transmission, they'll... So let me get this straight. Detroit came out with a transmission that they're putting in semi-trucks that you cannot fix. You have to buy a new one. 